Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here. About to bring you a YouTube video on two of the four Stray games I have been playing. The first game I have been playing exclusively, pretty much, on the iOS is Beyond the Dead, which I have not been able to find on Android. And it's basically one of those RPG type games with events and... Basically, as far as this game goes, I do have an alliance, and currently I believe I have six or seven members, however, only one of them actually does anything. And Katorgo is on there as well, so I actually have three active people, and it looks like a bunch of just random people that join. So for those of you who are looking to join my clan on this game, if you download Beyond the Dead, my alliance code is 230-257-838. So for those of you who are looking to join up, please add this in, and those of you who are looking for a new game to play, I would love to have more people play this game, especially for Alliance events and stuff, and there are a bunch of buildings that you can do, and you can also upgrade the building to get more silver, you spend energy to do quests, it's a basic traditional RPG, nothing fancy, definitely not as fun as Clash of Clans, however I would like to get some more people involved in this game as there are a bunch of missions to keep you busy. And you can also master the areas, which I believe give you tougher enemies, better loot. And it also sounds really cool when you shoot zombies up with a machine gun like thing. And you also receive crates when you complete quests, which gives you rare, uncommon, common, and legendary characters if you combine cards. If you combine four of the same type of card, it will upgrade the grade. Like, for example, if you upgrade the truck drivers to uncommon, if you get them up to level 4, they will now become rare. And you can also upgrade your survivors. All you have to do is add one in, select it, and then you select the next one, and they'll level up their stats. I'm not going to do that because I don't want more truck drivers. We're going to go in and we're going to select the ship welder. Well, I'm trying to level up to 50 so I can get a 10% attack and defense bonus. So we're going to take construction worker, fisherman, fry cook, barista, and we're going to take all four truck drivers. And we're going to take the martial arts master because I've already got her. And when you train, you do not actually spend the gold, the silver, which is good, or unless that's a bug and they stop that. However, it is a little bit easier to get silver. Now you just sacrifice the units and you gain XP towards a level. And there's also talent trees within the game. I'll show that off as well. And you get diminishing returns after level 40, otherwise you get way more stats. However, still gaining 80 to 90 times 8 is a decent amount. So we're going to go into our party. And there are three reserves. So we're going to put them... And there's my mounted police, which I actually wanted. So I don't know why they just showed up out of nowhere. So we're going to take our mounted police. And when you combine them up to rank 4, as you can see, they gain rare status. Now with 5,782 attack and 5,493 defense, so I'll have another rare card to play with. I do have a couple that are almost at the epic status. However, I do need one more promotion on that, and we're going to kill another boss on that. The way combat works in this game is you get a list of three people, or you can get revenge on people who attack you. And obviously the ones that attack you are ones that know that they can win the fight. And doesn't count against you. There's also street prizes. You get adrenaline. You get storage lockers. The one I'm trying to save up for is 30 wins. Which you are guaranteed an epic or a rare. And I do have enough adrenaline for power attack. However, I do want to get close to a level. That way I can power attack, level up, and power attack. And then use 3 adrenaline to get that guaranteed. As it does get tougher when you're in the higher levels. As you can see, one guy has a legendary 4 times epic. Full promoted rares and full promoted rares. And while you can win those fights, it is kind of a gamble. So we're going to skip that for now. And every 24 hours you get a free common crate, which basically just gives you a junk card. And you get that every 24 hours. With your conquest points or wherever the R currency is. You can also buy storage cases and I did get a rare out of one of those so definitely worth saving up the thousand for the 25. And you can also buy buildings. If you want another campsite you have to spend gold on it. You can also earn gold by doing those tap joint offers so you don't have to worry about 
anything like that. And usually I just watch the videos to get one gold every now and then. So I don't like buying shit. Obviously with a free action from Hulu Plus, that's actually a good one. So if you sign up for a seven day trial, and I am a new subscriber, and use it, you have to keep it for 48 hours. And you can't do it if you sign up for additional promotion, so definitely good to do that because seven day Hulu Plus trial is really nice. And that shows off Beyond the Dead. We're going to show off Game of War, and I don't know who actually plays this game. However, I am inclined to deep strategy games, and I really love these type of games. Main reason being is that it takes a long time to play the game, and there is a lot you can do within this game. Now, currently, I'm in somebody else's alliance, and if I could probably get 5 to 10 people that will actually try this game out, I'll probably make my own alliance, because I would love to have a YouTube clan for this game, and I'm really big on deep strategy games. The way the game works is when you start off, you get a level 1 VIP. And any building that takes 6 minutes or less, you can upgrade for free. You also gain food production, all this production. And you gain more stuff as you level up your VIP. Very complicated game. If you love deep strategy games, I highly recommend it. And if I do get some interest, I will get rid of my current allegiance and start my own little small allegiance. And... Obviously, I am researching hoplites, and there are trees. Go in the combat tree, they're scouting, training speed, which there was only one rank of that. And all the way down. Currently, I'm researching hoplites, which cost 100,000 wood, 180,000 silver, 100,000 food, and 75,000 ore. And also, unlock ballista research, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can also equip your hero out with gear. As I have 16% food pr production, 1.5% troop defense bonus, and 28.8% food production, as well as 2.5% construction speed, 1.3% range attack and trap attack. So very complicated stuff. And you also get an overview with like food, silver, wood, stone. These are the type of strategy game that I actually love because it takes a long time to unfold. We get a report for a resource gathering for as I did harvest up glass and metal, as well as 35,985 silver for researching that. And I would also like to say that it was very nice seeing Store Boston attack me. We used to try to farm me for silver. However, I did manage to fend off his attack and I killed way more units than he destroyed my traps. So good job, me on there. And you gain XP. So it's a very deep strategy game, but we're actually going to go into the field. And you can see I'm right near the FK clan. However, they don't want to attack me, and a lot of people have peace. Somebody, Parker DP, did try to attack me at a resource mine. He's a new player, so he got scolded on that. And we're at 167,000 silver. Who is kind of low? We're going to look for a wood resource. That farm is being encountered. We got a couple wood resources here. We only got 7362. So we're going to send that much out to it. And we're just going to continue it out to Hero. Now we're going to send at this one who has way more. We're going to send everything out at it. And we're going to go collect our resources. And there's also another tier for economics. You can speed up construction speed and my rank is pretty high 160,000 for the next rank however getting your construction ranks higher is always a bo bonus because even that one percent can shave off hours upon hours and I've also been looking at leveling up gathering because obviously the quicker you gather the more resource you can get and troop load is also a good one because you need troop load in order to haul those resources so I'm currently working on Hoplite so I can get some bigger units out. And we're marching to the base. And currently I'm in kind of a stupid alliance. Not one that I really want to do. So I'm going to eventually make the Crimson Horde. However, my initials TCH are currently in use. So my first goal, as soon as I get this clan big enough, I would love to take out that guild. Because nobody uses my initials but me. So we're going to end that video here, and obviously I have been playing a lot of Clash of Clans, as well as Hero of the Dragon Age, and I know that people would love to see me do Minecraft, and eventually I will definitely have to do that. And we've got some action RPGs. 
We've got quite a few there. We've got card games, and I, I did pick up ninety dollars on Shadow Era Shattered Fate, so I will be doing some videos on that. And if you like this video, showing off Beyond the Dead and Game of War, two strategy games that have taken me away from Injustice Gods Among Us, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other YouTube videos playlist, on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And hopefully some people join me on both of these games. Have a wonderful day, kids.